we were all hanging out when... Hmm. Mail's here. Awesome! <gasps> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa. Uh, Chelsea. Did my spinning disco ball party light come? No, but if you were looking for something weird, there is this big robot envelope. Robot envelope? What kind of robot envelope? Uh, a robot -y one with a picture of a robot on it. No way, there's an actual robot in there? <laughs> no, my designs made the finals for the All-State Robotics Convention. Listen to this. Please join the other finalists for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to bring your robotics dreams to life at RobotCon. Oh, honey, that's outstanding. What exactly does it mean? It means I get to turn my science homework into a real, actual robot at the most important robotics convention in the country this weekend. <gasps> this weekend. Um, you know what? I don't even like yucky old robots. You were literally just freaking out when you opened that letter. I mean, it's not like robotics is going to save the world or anything. I mean, you know, unless you want to explore distant planets or... Or perform life-saving surgery remotely. I will not miss your 20th anniversary. <laughs> Who will set everything up and hang all the decorations and... Um, hello? I can handle it. How complicated could all those little parties you throw be? We can make this roof fairy visit a magical experience Chelsea will never forget. She's got that look in her eye. Resistance is futile. We are in. Great, okay. Who's got a short penguin? Okay, so nobody's got a penguin. Not a problem. We can just make it seem like Dr. Ernesto's around. How? Um, come up with some rock penguin noises, maybe? Like... <laughs> um, maybe one not choking on something? You're close, though. Okay, now let's get to the other roof fairy stuff, like the rose petals and the flute music. Okay. Okay, Robert's family cheer on three. One, two, three. Do you think they could be from the Roof Fairy? Wow, maybe. Well, that was exciting. Dad! Oh, come on. The Equinox is tomorrow night. I'm just getting warmed up. What's the Equinox? <laughs> Equinox. A day and night of perfect cosmic balance, when even eggs can sense the harmony of the celestial spheres and balance on their ends. Whoa. Dad and I have this tradition of going out at midnight to watch for meteors and balance eggs. It's fun. We drink hot chocolate, eat curried egg salad pizza, and Dad tells a lot of bad jokes. Bad? You love my egg jokes. <laughs> I'm not six anymore, Dad. Hey, that's ageism. And how come you never told me about this? <gasps> huh. Well, I guess you've always been asleep when we head out. Yeah, it's our daddy-daughter tradition. Like Stacy and Dad always do team tightrope at Beach Fest. Uh, okay. Ta-da! And in second place, George and Stacy Roberts. Second? Second? Who was better than us? Ah. <laughs> uh. No competing with that. Or how Dad and Skipper go to the G Wiz Expo every spring. Hmm, those are awesome. I want a tradition with Dad. You bet. After I put away these groceries, let's start brainstorming some ideas. Great. <sighs>
Barbie was just about your age the first time we went out for the Equinox. <laughs> and we're still on for tomorrow, right? Oh, of course. It's my favorite night of the year. I'm the mayor? How did that happen? You got elected? Huh, that's kind of cool. Come with me, Mayor. Your first appointment is here. Hello. Ah! <sighs> Ow. Award-winning journalist reporter Barbie. Nice to meet you, Mayor. Any comment on the crisis? I'm the mayor and I'm the reporter. In Future Town, anything is possible. Okay. So, wait. Did you say there was a crisis? This just in. Mayor Barbie seems unprepared for the pending disaster. No, it's just... What are you? Recognize these, your greatest accomplishments. Future Town's new rapid transit system, our recently opened home for homeless pets, our beautiful picnic park for family celebrations, all because of you, Mayor Barbie. Because you really care about the people of this city. I do, but you heard it here. She says she cares, yet has no plan to protect us all from a totally weird thing in the sky headed right this way. What are you talking about? As first reported right here, a weird giant object is hurtling towards Future Town. I'm sorry, um, but I don't have a weird giant object listed on the mayor's schedule for today. Better double check that. I just reported it. Oh, here it is, 2 p.m. Weird giant object headed for Future Town today. Huh, how did I miss that? This can only mean one thing. That I'm fired? Wow, weirdness is sort of in the air today. No, it means that if I'm mayor, I need to deal with this. Can you get me more information on the weird thing in the sky from a reliable source? Like maybe a scientist who knows about planets and galaxies and space. On it. Mayor Barbie, come quick. You gotta see this. Check it out, Barbie. I taught Duchess some tricks. These will definitely impress our owners. Okay, Duchess, sit. Now chase your tail. Now sit up and beg. What do you think? Uh, nice. Weird, but nice. Uh, you know, just in case, I've got a few tricks of my own. Oh. Knock, knock. Got any extra stuff for my garage sale? Uh, Chelsea, look around. I've decluttered my room. I'm freeing myself from the material realm. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Really? <sighs> uh, records aren't clutter. They're a way of life. So, got anything that's not records? Like, how about this? Your autographed picture of Hello Creamy. If you think someone will want it. Pretty dubious autograph, being that Hello Creamy isn't a real person. That's what makes it so special. I'll take it. Okay, whatever soothes your soul. Wait, now where was I again? Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Oh. Okay, Duchess, hit it. would be crazy to sell her now. Well, Harriet, do you think Duchess's owners will be impressed? We're about to find out. They just got here. What? Duchess belongs to them? Reardons. Circus animals! Ready? <laughs> it must be nice to have nothing on your mind but where to play next. Barbie! There's lots on Honey's mind. There's chasing butterflies, burying bones, learning new tricks. <laughs> oh, of course. And she has to protect us. Protect us from what? From lots of bad things that we have no idea about. Right, Honey? What kind of things? Hey, did you guys see Rookie's squeaky toy? No, sorry. So what kind of things? Well... I suppose it's okay to tell you this now. A few nights ago, while we were all asleep, DJ discovered a horrible sneaky plot. Gotcha! 
Ricky, honey, put that down. Listen, something's going on with the squeaky toy. <laughs> the scary squeaky crocodile? It's an alligator, honey, not a crocodile. Squeaky crocodiles are mostly in Asia and Africa. I never trusted that thing. One day, I'm gonna grab it and bite it and chew it and shake it. Violence doesn't solve anything, Rookie. What'd you see, DJ? I can't tell you out here. This calls for a top secret meeting. Hey, what's going on? Top secret meeting, Taffy. Oh boy, I love these. So then, they made their way to the secret hideout. So, the puppies talk to each other? Of course. What do you think? They write letters? Anyway, back to the story. Okay, we've got one hour. Let's get going. Hmm. I think these pieces snap together into something. Glue! Yay, we're almost out of here. Hmm, there are two pins in this globe. <gasps> The travelers weren't just in different times, they were in different locations. Hmm. Hey, Nikki, give me a hand with this puzzle. Check it out. The pieces made binoculars. What does it mean? Are we out yet? And why would you need binoculars in a room without windows? And by the way, isn't that against building code? Huh, weird. They made me see everything double. Hmm. Barbie, over here. I was thinking. The whole story is really a story about a couple. Two people. So you're saying if we set the clock to two... We might escape the time machine. I think you may just be on to something, Agent Carson. <gasps> ah! Hey, hey, hey! Thanks for watching my video. I have the best time making content for you all, and I can't wait for you to see what else I have coming up. Like and subscribe, and make sure to comment and tell me what you want to see. It's so much fun hearing from all of you. Peace!